Hello friends and welcome you all in Learn Literature. In this video, we will learn about lyric. What is lyric and chief characteristic of lyric and some example. Alright, so without wasting any time, let's get started. Lyric. What is lyric? First question that always come in the mind that what is lyric? We are studying lyric, but what is a lyric? So here, lyric is a song which express some emotion, whether a joy and sorrow and despair. Okay, so lyric is a, basically you can understand like it's a any joy feeling, happiness feeling. Okay, and sorrow feeling, despair feeling, like type uh, feeling is expressed by the lines. Okay, and second thing, lyric is a musical poem, means that you can sing. Lyric is like type, singing type. Okay, and it is called lyric because it was sung with musical instrument lyre. It was sung, means lyric sung by lyric sung by with a musical instrument that is lyre that's why it called to lyric okay and uh, the term lyric this term lyric is derived from greek word that is lori cause lori cause which means a composition which can be sing a composition which can be sing it's mean the lodicos okay so next is chief characteristic of lyric as i told you lyric is a music okay musical poem so what is a chief characteristic of lyric first one subjectivity subjectivity a lyric is the expression of Poet's personal thought, emotions. So it is essentially subjective in character. It embodies one noble thought of one novel emotion. It appears is mainly to heart rather than intellect. It means lyric, and the lyric has spec uh, subjectivity quality. Okay, it's tell about the uh, uh, main theme. What the author want to say? Okay, uh, like uh, whenever a speaker want to speak love feeling, so it's uh, clear that he want to speak uh, love feeling, so he speak. And uh, if he want to speak about uh, some despair feeling, so he speak in noble thought, clear thought. Okay, there is no confusion. And one more thing that is. It mainly to heart. It's hard feeling. It's not intellect. It's not related to your knowledge. It's related to your heart. Okay. And spontaneity. Spontaneity. A ly good lyric must be spontaneous. It is natural outcome of the poet's heart. Means that lyric come by your heart. You cannot effort. And anyone uh, cannot afford for it. It's come on self. It has a sincerity. This expression of the floating thought and short-lived thought is called lyric. Okay. And third one is intensity. Intensity. In a lyric, there is a happy combination of words and rhythm with musical combination. Okay, so that is intensity means uh, word combination, rhythm combination is there. So it make the lyric musical. And fourth one is emotional thought. What is emotional thought? Emotional thought is the thought and emotion in the lyric in a lyrics is simple means very simple as i told you the subjectivity is here so also the thought and emotion that come in here that will be sim uh, simple okay and the language and imagery are marked not only by the its beauty and chastity chastity but uh, but only harmony between itself and subject 
means the thought emotion thought it's a very simple and we can say it's come by heart rather than to intellect okay and remembering point so these are these are a remembering point that what you have to learn by the topic of lyric so firstly i told you the definition so that is important and the term came uh, from there so it is very important so and this elizabethan age of english literature is the first period when sung and uh, when song and lyric were flourished to that extent means that time elizabethan time uh, elizabethan age that time lyric become very popular okay and it flourished it's mean before the elizabethan age uh, lyric was not so much uh, flourished okay and second one is during this period a lyric had become expression of soul in form of form and expression lyrics were sung everywhere even on the road means it was so popular it was so popular at the time of elizabethan age it was so popular at the extent it was popular that uh, it was uh, sung in the road yes okay means uh, in every road uh, people sing uh, this song and the uh, third one is england of that time were called were called nest of singing bird nest of singing bird okay elizabethan time okay so this is very important means that that there had so many writers so many poets who wrote such type of a uh, lyrics okay sonnets or elegy so this make england nest of the singing bird musical okay and then sir philip sydney sir philip sydney was one of the prominent lyric of elizabethan age and he composed number of lyrics okay the name of sir philip sydney is very important and spencer great work shepherd calendar this is very important shepherd calendar in respect of lyrics and uh, marlow marlow was another genius whose song were highly lyrical highly highly lyrical okay and some of the song composed by shakespeare are highly fantastic means uh, his his lyrics are very very fantastic and this song can be seen in his great play that is midnight uh mid summer night dreams okay in midnight summer uh, midnight some uh, mid summer night dream uh, he wrote many of the lyrics and other name are like uh, lily green samuel daniel drayton wrote number of the song so you can learn by the lyrics of a, these all poets okay so this is all about the lyric that uh, what is a lyric and characteristic of a lyric and some author uh, some poets who wrote lyric okay so thank you all thank you for watching to my video thank you